So, when I'm Gani, welcome back to Zulu Lessons with me, Tando, the place for modern conversational Zulu language lessons. Ngani, we've spoken about domestic animals. I mentioned only a few of them because we are not the same. We do not live the same way. I am Umzulu, and a rabbit to me is not a pet. A mouse to me is not a pet. However, if I were to talk to, say, a friend of mine in the UK, they have a mouse as a pet. They have a rabbit as a pet. You see that? So we are not the same people. So I'm not going to then speak from the perspective of someone else. I'm going to speak from the perspective of me, myself, Umzul. And so we start this one with farm animals. Now let's talk about this word farm. Because you'll hear a lot of times, times when Amazulu speak of a farm, they'll use a borrowed word. They'll say, Emma farm, which is in the farms, and it's a borrowed word from English. Or they'll say, Epulazini, so which is a plus, which is a word borrowed from Afrikaans. So you may ask, isn't then a word for a farm in Isizulu? There actually isn't, and I'll explain to you why we don't have one. A farm is at home where we live. The whole thing of people living in farms and then in cities is actually not covered or catered for in our language because the place where people live is where everything happens, where they live, where they work, where they learn. It's at home. So, where they have their livestock is at home, where they plant their vegetables and all their food is at home. And that is why there is just no distinction between the two. So, you hear me keep saying at home, at home. Do you hear that? Ekaya, ekaya, that is at home. So, you will hear Amazulu when they are talking about in the farm or where they come from, they will then say emakaya, emakaya, so in our homes, basically, because they are now living and working far from home in the big cities. And so when they are now talking of home, where the farm is, where the animals are, where the huge beautiful garden may be if they have land, then they would then be saying emakai. So I hope you then understand why Amazulu tend to use borrowed words for those uh, amafamu and amablazi. It is because the whole notion of living separately from your family is alien to Amazulu. So we don't even have a word for this. So Let's now continue. Farm animals. Farm animals, remember the word animal is isiluane. Isiluane. And then the, sing, the plural is iziluane. Iziluane. Now let's continue. We'll start with the chicken. I used to raise this when I was younger. So I love them. So, inkuku. Inkuku, inkuku, that's a chicken, one chicken. Doesn't matter what chicken it is, it doesn't matter whether it's a hen or a rooster, it's a chicken. Inkuku, that's singular. Do you hear that NK sound? Nk, nk. It's coming right at the back here. Nk. But it's not rough, it's nk. So don't go k when you say it. And then the KH sound. Do you hear it? Cool. So it's no different from the sound from cat or cut in English, the k sound. So in kuku. And then the plural is izinkuku. 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 You may want to know what class of noun is this? Hmm. 
That's class five. How do we know? It starts with an I-N when it's singular. And that's very important. That is why we are saying the singular and the plural so that you will be able to classify the nouns. That really helps you with your sentence construction. Ikude. 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 Ikude is a rooster. And the plural is amakude. 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 Now, of course you may see this already because the plural starts with ama. So it already tells you that this word is a class three noun. So, ikude. Oh, it reminds me of a song. It's a wedding song. I'm not going to sing the whole thing, but it goes, ikude we malakala kabili gatatu se gusila manzawe koma. Oh, se gusila manzawe koma. Ah, let me control myself. We are learning farm animals. So, the next one is ikwane. 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 That's a chick. And the plural is amakwane. 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 Those are chicks. So, it's the same as the previous word. Ikwane. It's in the same class. Class 3. Isikukugazi. Isikukugazi. Isikukugazi is a hen. And the plural is izikukugazi. 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 Do you hear that? Not k. There's an H there. And then the next K has no H. So it's k. So izikukugazi. And that is a class four noun. Isikukugazi. Izi kukugazi. Uno guaja. Uno guaja. Uno guaja. That's a rabbit. Ono guaja. Ono guaja. Ono guaja. That is a class 1A noun. Ono guaja. Well, we can actually, de we can debate this. I have lived on a farm. I have grown my own plants, my own food, and onokwaja are not friends on a farm because they go and look for your food and eat your food. So you want to share with them, but you don't want to share everything. So anyway, let me stop. I digress. The next one is ingulube, ingulube, ingulube. That's a pig. And the plural is izingulube, izingulube, izingulube. Those are pigs. Now, do you see? It starts with an I N. And which class of noun is it? Oh, yes, you did say it. You are correct. It's a class five noun. The next one is inkomo, 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 mo. And the plural is izinkomo, izinkomo, izinkomo. Those are cows, a cow and cows. Isn't that a beautiful one? Yes, it is, my friend. Beautiful, healthy looking cow. Imvu, imvu, imvu. That's a sheep. And the plural is izimvu, izimvu. Izimvu, sheep, plural. So many sheep. Now, look at that one. The same as inkomo, the same as ingulube, the same as inkuku. They all fall in the same class of nouns that start with I-N or I-M. That's class five. Iashi, Iashi, Iashi. Did you hear that? 
that double H is pulled. Ah, so we don't actually say ihashi. Don't write it as just one H because that would say ihashi. We are saying ihashi. So we are pulling that H. So ashi. And then the plural is amashi. 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 So that is a class three noun. Imbuzi. 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 That's a goat. Imbuzi. The plural is izimbuzi. 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 <sighs> and these are naughty. They're so naughty. I don't like them. They're just too cute. Do you ever see them when they're small? And they're just like, okay, let me stop. So, anyway, that is all my friend on this lesson of farm animals, according to me, from my perspective as Umzulu. We may debate and say maybe others are farm animals, but maybe they may also be wild animals to somebody else. So, go ahead and watch the next video on wild animals. Who's that?